So we've looked at the reaction of hydrogen and oxygen, which we remember from our balloon. If we burn hydrogen in the presence of oxygen, we get water. We can run that reaction in reverse using an electrical current. Here I have a tube with water in it, and at the bottom are two electrodes that generate positive and negative voltages. I have a power supply here. Right now, we just have water, but when we turn on the current, we see bubbles starting to form at the two electrodes. Here we're separating the water, H2O, into hydrogen gas on this side and oxygen gas on this side. If you notice, this side has significantly more bubbles than this side. That's because each molecule of water contains two atoms of hydrogen, but only one atom of oxygen. And so we're generating twice as many hydrogen bubbles as oxygen bubbles. After about five minutes, we collect up an amount of hydrogen and oxygen gas. Note the difference in volume between this bubble and this bubble. No matter how many times we run the experiment, what we find is always two volumes of hydrogen gas to one volume oxygen gas. We can test to see that we've really generated hydrogen gas by setting a small flame with our hydrogen. And so we see it burn. If we were to light this side, we wouldn't get any flame at all. 